Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. indices and the big tech stocks. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, Thursday, March 11, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon if you want access to our full technical analysis, our, our uh Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, March 11, 2021. If you would like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos, and you're welcome to join us at our Patreon if you want access to our full technical analysis, our live sessions and courses, and so on. They're all available there. You're welcome to join. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see, we have basically got inside this channel here. So we did rally uh, earlier today and then broke down yet again. But we're still in this channel. So there's probably going to be a lot of choppiness. Um, uh, this looks better than the Nasdaq is at the moment. And uh, it doesn't look as good as, uh, for example, the Dow Jones, even though the Dow Jones will most likely uh, drop in the next uh, day or two, as it has been significantly overbought at this point. But the, the S&P 500, we uh, can see that the stochastic is turning around quite aggressively. We are uh, above the middle of the year on the bullish band, so we're most likely going to head towards the top of the bullish band. And that is getting us really close to 4,000, which is basically our target here. So MACD is turning around. Most likely going to head across the signal line tomorrow. RSI is bullish and the CCI is bullish. So everything is pointing to higher levels in the S&P 500. And, uh, but do expect quite a lot of choppiness. This has been rallying from the bottom here. So this could be going up and down and outside of this channel and so on. But still, most likely the target here will be 4,000. If we break below the 50 moving average here, then that opens the door yet again to these very lows at 3,730, give or take. So let's look at the, the Dow Jones. So the Dow has, well, technically overstretched at the moment. You can see here in the bullish band, we had the last three trading days. We have been significantly outside and at this point, it is very likely that we are going to drop uh, towards the middle of the bullish band. It will probably take one or two days, but but that is this never, especially for the for the Dow Jones, uh, doesn't really um, hold for a very long time. We see it here, we see it here, here, and so on. If I go all the way back there, you can see that we basically drop when we go outside, and we drop here when we go outside, and we can go way back in history and. That is kind of the way that uh, Dow has been behaving. And therefore, you should, the probability of that happening now is fairly high. It can, of course, rally to 32,500 and beyond that. But, but then it only means that the fall will be that more significant. Um, <clears throat> so main reason for this, for example, Boeing uh, rallied quite significantly over 6%. And of course, that will have a major effect on this. Therefore, Boeing will most likely also be uh, falling uh, tomorrow as it is also fairly overstretched at this point. Technical indicators are still fairly bullish, but it is expected at this point for this to pull back towards uh, at least the 20 uh, exponential, around 31,541 uh, at this point. So a drop of roughly 2.34%. That could happen in the next few trading days. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So the NASDAQ, yes, this is, um, I'll be very honest, this doesn't look that nice for the NASDAQ. There are a few things. First of all, uh, we did not manage to break above the, the 20 exponential or the 40 or the 50. So we rallied up towards this point and then broke down. We're trading at 12, 700, uh, 752 at this current stage. Our MACD is still very bearish. Uh, the RSI is flat. The CCI is technically flat. The stochastic is kind of bullish at this point. It just crossed the signal line and also above the red line here. So what we'll see here is most likely we'll continue in this pattern here. So this could basically be an inverted kind of flag pattern. We fell 
drifted higher and then fell, drifted higher, and then we could fall yet again towards, first of all, the 150. That is probably where we'll go as we did not manage to break through these uh, these uh, moving averages at this point. So, so uh, yes, that is it is not a really good sign for the Nasdaq, but this gives us, for, for example, an opportunity to buy some of these tech stocks at a cheap, like uh, like for example Tesla that has dropped significantly. Also, Apple and uh, Facebook and so on have also dropped, or Netflix has dropped significantly. So if you look, for example, in the cloud, we can see that we are still trending underneath the cloud. So we are technically at this point in a downtrend. So we fell, drifted higher, fell, drifted higher, and then we can fall even further. We could fall towards 12,000. But first of all, we need to take out 12,200 before we go to 12,000. So we can look at the Fibonacci retracement for also for this, and we can see that the reason why we bounced here at 12,200 is because we have the 50 Fibonacci retracement. If that breaks, then we'll drop towards the 61.8. That is all the way down here at 11,900. And of course, if that breaks, then we are looking at a major drop to the downside. So we have been in it before. We, for example, saw a major drop here. We also saw a major drop here. But this drop here is more severe, more significant than these two drops. So this is not close to this. So we haven't seen drops of, of 10, 7, or 7, 10, or 12% in a day. That's not what we're looking at. So the tech stock, the tech sector has been rallying for a really long time. So it is only a matter of time before it were to fall. fall. And we are seeing a fall at this point. So this is not a good sign. Uh, as I said, we are in a downtrend at this point. We won't be in a back in a back in a upward trend until we basically get above this cloud here. So that is probably going to take a while at this point. So if you look at some of the sorry, some of the tech stocks, Apple rallied towards the, the 150 moving average and then broke down. So we'll most likely head back towards the 200 moving average, or we didn't get close to the 200 moving average, but we could go lower from here. It is very low here in the RSI, and it is, it is fairly on the edge of being oversold. Then we have Amazon. We ran into resistance here at the 200 and the 20 exponential. So this could also fall towards the downside if we don't manage to break above here. Microsoft, we did uh, rally above the 50, but now we broke down again and found support at the 40 exponential moving average. Then we have Facebook, also broke down, found support here at the 20 exponential moving average. And then we have Tesla. So Tesla had an amazing day yesterday. It rallied 20%. Okay, we're we'll taking roughly 20% yesterday. We rallied yet again today up towards the 40 uh, exponential moving average and then broke down quite well, quite aggressively. So that is not a really good sign. You can see here in the bullish band, we went way outside. We were way overstretched to the downside, and then we snapped back towards the middle. We did not manage to break above the middle of the bullish band. That could mean that we'll head even lower from here. So we could see Tesla retesting the 150 before we go higher from here. So that is not an opportunity that comes often that both uh, that tesla drops this significant it basically has dropped roughly uh, until now around here roughly 25 percent it was all the way down here at the 39 percent from the all-time highs and that is absolutely enormous for a one month in other word three weeks drop drop so uh google has basically hold it is uh, it is from based on the tech stocks here. Google is the one that is most resilient. It hasn't seen any major drop in the recent days. This was a score, but we're still trading sideways. So it is looking really good for Google. And Facebook has found yet again support here at the 200 moving average. So it has been supported for uh, for about here and also back here. So we have tested a 300 moving average uh, uh, before, but it is rarely that we drop all the way down to the 300 moving average. 
So if we do, I'll be basically all over this because that does not happen often that you can buy Netflix and most of these stocks on that kind of cheap. But uh, for example, Tesla, it has rallied, for example, in just one year, it rallied roughly 1,109%. So this drop was always going to happen. We saw a minor drop here and a minor drop here, but this drop was always going to happen. It's not possible to rally that much without seeing some kind of pullback at some point. So yes, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos, and you're welcome to join us over our Patreon. The link's down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.